Hello dear students, welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Kizla. In this video of polynomials, we are going to take up exercise 2.3 of NCRT. In this exercise, we have three questions. First question is find the remainder when the given polynomial is divided by. We have five divisors over here. So we are going to use remainder theorem to solve such type of questions. Second question is again find the remainder when the given polynomial is divided by x minus a. So again over here we are going to apply remainder theorem. Third question is check whether the given polynomial that is the divisor is the factor of the polynomial 3x cubed plus 7x. So these three questions we are going to solve in this video. Let's get started. Now the first question is find the remainder when x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 is divided by the first divisor is x plus 1. So let us assume let the px be the given variable x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Now to apply remainder theorem first of all we will find the 0 of the divisor. Divisor is x plus 1. So we shall equate it to 0 to find it 0 of the divisor so x plus 1 is equal to 0 so x is equal to minus 1. Now remainder theorem says that the remainder is equal to the value of the given polynomial at x is equal to minus 1. So we shall replace x by minus 1 and get the value. So let us replace x everywhere in the given polynomial by minus 1. So minus 1 cube 3 into minus 1 square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 1 will give you minus 1 plus 3 minus 1 and plus 1. Now over here minus 1 plus 1 will cancel 3 and minus 3 will cancel and we are left with 0. So the required remainder over here is 0. Now in second part we have x minus half as the divisor and the given polynomial is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Now we shall find the 0 of the divisor that is x minus half by equating it to 0 so we shall get x as half. Now according to remainder theorem the remainder is the value of the polynomial when x is half. So we will put uh, x is equal to half in the given polynomial half whole cube plus 3 into half whole square plus 3 into half plus 1 which will give us 1 by 8 plus 3 into 1 by 4 plus 3 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 by 8 3 by 4 3 by 2 plus 1 take the LCM and solve it and you will get 27 by 8 as the required remainder. Now in the third part we have x as the divisor and the given polynomial let us say px is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1. Now x can be written as x minus 0 because we need a linear polynomial as a divisor in the form x minus a. Then only we can find a. So let us find the 0 of x minus 0 by equating it to 0. So x value is equal to 0. By remainder theorem, the remainder is equal to the value of the polynomial at x is equal to 0. That means a over here is 0 and if we replace x by 0, we should get the remainder. So let us start replacing x by 0. So uh, 0 cube plus 3 into 0 square plus 3 into 0 plus 1. 0 cube 0, 3 into 0, 0, 3 into 0, 0 and plus 1 which is equal to 1. So the remainder is 1. Now the fourth part is x plus pi and the given polynomial let it be px. Now let us find 0 of the polynomial that is the divisor x plus pi by equating it to 0. So we shall get x is equal to minus pi. Now the remainder's theorem says that the remainder is equal to the value of the given polynomial when x is equal to minus pi. So we need to find the value of the given polynomial at x is equal to minus pi by replacing x by minus pi. So minus pi whole cube plus 3 into minus pi whole square plus 3 into minus pi plus 1 which will give you minus pi cube plus 3 pi square minus 3 pi and plus 1 and plus and minus 3 pi will give you minus 3 pi. So this is our remainder minus pi cube plus 3 pi square 
minus 3 pi plus 1 right now in the fifth part we have the divisor 5 plus 2x which can be written in the standard form as 2x plus 5 and the given polynomial let us say px is the given polynomial now let us start by first of all finding the zero of the divisor that is 2x plus 5 by equating it to 0 so we shall get 2x is equal to minus 5 so x is equal to minus 5 by 2 now according to remainder theorem remainder is equal to the value of the given polynomial at x is equal to minus 5 by 2 let us start replacing x by minus 5 by 2 so minus 5 by 2 whole cube plus 3 into minus 5 by 2 whole square plus 3 into we will have minus 5 by 2 plus 1 now let us simplify whole cube of uh, 5 so 125 by 8 we shall get and because it's a minus over here so minus 125 by 8 then it's a square over here so minus will turn positive so 3 into 25 by 4 further plus sign and uh, 3 into 5 minus 15 by 2 and plus 1 further simplify minus 125 by 8 3 into 25 we shall get 75 by 4 and plus into minus we will get minus 15 by 2 plus 1 now take uh, lcm as 8 and further simplify and you will get minus 27 by 8 as the remainder right so with this we come to end of first question now we'll chat take up second question second question is find the remainder when x cube minus a x square plus 6 x minus a is divided by x minus a so let us start with the solution let p x be the dividend x cube minus a x square plus 6 x minus a and divisor will be x minus a now we have to apply remainder theorem so for that we need zero of the divisor that is x minus a by equating it to 0 we will get that 0 of this divisor which is x is equal to a right now by remainder theorem we can say that remainder is equal to p a that means the value of the polynomial at x is equal to a so replacing x by a we shall get a cube minus a into a square plus 6a minus a further simplify a cube minus a cube in plus 6a minus a right a cube and a cube will cancel 6a minus a will give you 5a as the remainder now in question 3 we have to check whether 7 plus 3x is a factor of 3x cube plus 7x now 3x cube plus 7x is a dividend and divisor is 7 plus 3x and we have to check whether the divisor is a factor of the given dividend so let us say px be the dividend 3x cube plus 7x and divisor is 7 plus 3x which we can write in standard form as 3x plus 7 now let us find the zero of 3x plus 7 that is the divisor by equating it to zero we shall get x is equal to minus 7 by 3 now according to remainder theorem if we have to find the remainder we have to find the value of the given polynomial at minus 7 by 3 so let us replace x by minus 7 by 3 so 3 into minus 7 by 3 whole cube plus 7 into minus 7 by 3 further uh, minus 7 whole cube is minus 343 and 3 cube is 27 and uh, 7 into minus 7 is minus 49 by 3 now further open the brackets so 3 and 27 will cancel we will get 9 over here minus and plus is minus and further when you simplify you will get minus 490 by 9 which is actually not equal to 0 that means the value of the uh, given polynomial at uh, 0 of the divisor is not coming equal to 0 right so it is not equal to 0 therefore the remainder is not 0 right remainder is not zero so we can say the given dividend is not divisible by the divisor that means divisor is not the factor of the given dividend as simple as that so when it is not divisible it is not the factor right so this is it children hope you have understood all these questions of exercise 2.3 thank you everyone have a great day ahead